Welcome back to my life as a maiden. Last time we played, we just did a tennis match with Dawn. And the young girl whooped her ass by the looks of things. Whooped. Humiliated. Ah, embarrassed. What? You don't want my input on that. Huff, huff. I lost badly. Haha, <laughs> sports aren't your thing, are they? I really was only going 50%. I could tell. You weren't moving nearly as fast as you were with that girl. Do you need some water? Uh, that would be nice. Haha, <laughs> I love juice. Be back in a second. Yeah, she's going to kill it. Oh, uh, I've made such good friends in the short time I've been at this school. I hope we'll all be friends for a long time. Here you go. Thanks. Gulp? Mmm, that was refreshing. I've got to go back to practice. Mind if I continue to watch? Not at all. Watch with watch to your heart content. That was fun. Dawn Straw was impressive. Moving all over the court like that. Now, what should I do? I didn't get any homework today. So I'm free as a bird. Hmm. Oh, look. Like I have a few texts. Where are you? Are you coming today? Did something happen? These are all from Harley, but it's not... It's Thursday. I completely forgot. It's one of the... Days, I agreed to take a nap with her. I feel so bad. The last text she sent was an hour ago. She wouldn't still be waiting for me, would she? Knowing her, she probably is. I hope she isn't mad at me. I've yet to see what she looks like when she's mad, and I prefer to keep it that way. Ah, there you are. I'm sorry, I completely slipped my mind. It's okay. Better late than never. You didn't take a nap on your own? It's not the same without you. So I wanted to stay awake until you arrived. That's sweet, I think. <laughs> Come, lay down on me, Maria. Okay. I do what she asks because she can <laughs> whoop my ass so easily. And lay on top of her. My face pressed right below her neck. It's a risky position considering I'm a boy, but I've gotten used to her body and she's no longer in only uh, underwear, so I'm fine. Ha ha ha, your breath is so warm. Ha 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 ha, your breath is so warm and it tickles. You always say that. It's always true. Maria? Yes? You're a boy, aren't you? Whoa! Oh my god! She saw through it. That or she's been groping us while we we're sleeping. What, what? What are you saying? She figured it out, but I'm not aroused. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I should have been fine. I felt something poke me at the first two times you voluntarily napped with me. <laughs> I didn't. It didn't happen when we met, but maybe I wasn't paying attention or you were more worried about escaping. I'm not sure. I don't really know how a boy thing work. I must have had my phone in my pocket. That must have been what you felt. No, it felt different than your phone and it would disappear after a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever it appeared, you would scratch up, a, up your face like what? Well, scrunched up your face like you were trying to wheel it away. She's more observant than I thought. With all the proof she has, there's no way I can deny the truth. You're right, I'm a boy. I knew it! Are you mad? Mad? Why would I be mad? Because I'm a boy? Hmm, I don't understand. I hid the fact that I'm a boy from you and... I'm a boy who's going to an all-girls school, so? What do you mean, so? You're not causing any trouble. And you look and act like a girl, so I don't understand your concern about going to an all-girls school. 
I'm not really trying to act like a girl, I'm trying to pass for a girl with my looks, but my personality isn't manufactured. This is who I am. This is this has always been my personality. That then that's even better, isn't it? Besides, the idea of uh, the idea of schools for only girls or only boys is stupid. I only come here because my parents said I didn't know how to act modest in front of guys. I still don't know what they meant by that. I know exactly what they meant. To her, being around people is the same as being by herself. She doesn't change her behaviour at all. I imagine she must have changed her clothes with guys in the room or something like that, which caused her parents to panic. Maybe this is a similar situation. She doesn't care that I'm a boy because it makes no difference to her. Whether you're a boy or a girl doesn't matter to me. All that matters to me is that you're warm and cuddly. Yep, that's exactly it. She's pretty much read my thoughts. That's such a simple and innocent way of thinking about it. But it's so you. Thank you, Harley. For what? I didn't do anything. For being you. Hmm, that's a strange thing to thank someone for. I can't be someone else. <laughs> I can only be Harley. Haha, oh. uh -huh, you're so silly. I'm the silly one after you said something yeah. like that. <laughs> oh, Harley. Yeah. Yep, you're very silly and I like that about you. I like you too. I haven't made many friends over the past five years. Everyone always says that I'm too hard to understand or don't take anything seriously and then they walk away. I don't really understand your thought process and I doubt that I ever will, but that doesn't matter to me. I can still enjoy spending time with you even if you don't get you. Even if I don't get you. That's exactly what I think. I don't understand you half the time, but I don't mind that. I'm glad you like me. Using you as a blanket would not be very fun if you found me annoying. Probably not. I can imagine you enjoy someone grudging, grudgingly laying on, down on top of you and complaining. <sighs> I would have ended our agreement if that happened. It's nice to know that you, she was considering my feelings too. Yeah, my nap is long overdue. Sleep time, Maria. You too, Harley. Hmm, ah. That was such a good nap. I feel so refreshed. Hmm? I will probably interfere with my sleep, so I guess I'd be watching TV shows into the night. Maria? I thought you were awake. Hmm? Harley? Good morning, or, uh, night. I'm tired. Do you want to nap longer? No, it's getting late. We should stay, we shouldn't stay out much longer. I sleep when I get back to the dorm. After I take a shower, though, I was sweating so much earlier because I played tennis with Dawn. Wait, do I smell? I was so close to you all the time. I, it, it must have been unbearable. I barely noticed it. I didn't smell very it didn't smell very strong in the first place and your perfume covered most of it you're not just saying that to not hurt my feelings are you no I mean it ah <sighs> that's a relief I don't usually wear deodorant because I rarely do enough physical activities to sweat so I was worried speaking of which that must be why I'm so tired Harley, why are you looking at me like that? She gets close to me and lifts me off the ground, bringing me into a, a bridal carry. Whoa! Wh what are you doing? You said you were tired. <clears throat> Get rid of that dawn voice. I've got energies to spare, so take it easy and let me carry you. Th this is so embarrassing. What if someone sees? Does it matter? Is there something wrong with a friend carrying another friend? Aren't I heavy? 
Not at all. You're actually lighter than I expected you to be. Do you really want me to put you down? Huh? No. No? Then why are you complaining? It, it's not something I'm used to. I fantasize about being carried like this by a girl, but I never thought it would actually happen. Now that I, it is, I'm feeling really nervous. There's no reason I feel nervous. I would, I won't drop you. That's not why. Then what's the reason for you, for your nervousness? I'm being carried bridal style by a tall, strong, attractive girl. And that makes you nervous? Yes, but you still like it. Also, yes, I see. <laughs> My heart's racing again. It's been doing that a lot recently. The girls around me are so amazing and charming. If this keeps up, I fear that I might fall for one of them. Dun, dun, dun. I put you down here since you don't want to be seen by anyone. Thank you and thank you for carrying me. It was nice. Any time I have enough energy, just ask. I'll be happy to carry you around. It was good for me too. I got to feel your warmth for a few more mo minutes. Okay, I'll remember that. It's too bad we missed dinner. I'm kind of hungry. I have to s take some snacks out in the fridge if there aren't any leftovers. I think I skipped food tonight. I'm just too so tired. After I take a nice hot shower, I'm going straight to sleep. Then I see you tomorrow. Good night, Maria. Good night, Harley. You should have asked her to keep that boy thing a secret. Hey, you were out late. I was with Harley. I am so beat. I fell asleep as soon as I touched the bed. But that would be gross. I'm going to take a shower. Uh, the door's locked. It's finally fixed. So there's no chance of um, accidents. Erica's face turns red. It seems that day is still ingrained into her mind. When did I? When did it get fixed? I'm pretty sure it was broken this morning. This afternoon, a few hours after ago, a repairman came over. A repairman. Yes, yes. It was a guy. No, I didn't snap at him. Even if I was tempted to because of his filthy clothes, messy hair, and unkept facial hair. I made sure to dis disinfect every spot he touched and sprayed the entire room with air freshener. Wow. <laughs> wow. That explains why the room smells of chemicals. It's a sweet smell, but it would be quite overwhelming if to some people. I can't imagine it would be healthy to sleep like this. Open up the window to let in some fresh air. We need it after all the things you've used to clean the room. Okay. So progress. Progress. What Erica did is definitely not normal. But from what I've heard, even this is an improvement. Apparently she insulted a and belated a guy who came to deliver some package for Miss Farrell, so much that he quit his job. Poor guy. Sylvia said it was his first day on the job too. All right, I take a shower now. I'd say no peeking, but you can't exactly do that anymore. M Maria, he 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 he. Jeez, just take your shower already. I give her a mysterious smile. What's with that look? Oh, nothing. Why do I doubt that? Nothing. I thought he'd do something. Time to remove my clothes. Huh? What? Why is he talking to himself? First, I peeled off my peeled off my shirt, refilling my smooth white stomach. Then I slip off my skirt. It falls slowly, caressing my legs as it moves down. No way, he's not. Next, I learn my s lean myself against the bathroom curtains and strip away my stockings one by one. He is. 
Don't let him get to you, Erica. Standing in only my underwear, I proceed to unhook my bra and take it off. Free in my non-existent breast. He made a joke, but it's not calming me down. The next piece of clothing is that. Oh, my heart can't take much more of this. Finally, I come to the last thing that would protect me from Erica's hungry eyes. Mm -hmm. I grab the edge of my panties with my thumbs and slide them slowly down my legs. I raise my left leg, freeing it from the underwear. I lift my right leg so I can reach, <laughs> reach it and toss it with my rest of my clothes. Leaving me my complete and utterly vulnerable <laughs> Maria! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> you think this is funny? <laughs> Next, I uh, no. <laughs> you do not <laughs> mess with me <laughs> like that. <laughs> huh? Wait! <laughs> Second time you see these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Not again, Erica. Uh, uh, Maria, this isn't. K Here it comes. K I'm going. I hate my life. I saw it again. It was just as I remembered. <laughs> Sis, what's going on? Uh, um, you can't be serious. You did it again? What is wrong with you? It was an accident. Maybe I should buy him something as a means of self-defense. Quit your joking. That's not, that isn't funny. Relax, sis. This is Maria we're talking about. He'll be upset with you for a day at most, and then be back to normal. I hope so. Is everything okay? It sounds like Maria screamed. Is he okay? Maria's fine. There was just... Wait, 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 wait. Hold up there, girl. Hold your horses. You just called Maria he. Hmm, but he is. Oh, I was supposed to let you know. Wait, I wasn't supposed to let you know that, was I? Did no. you, did you tell him? Did <laughs> uh, okay, I'm uh, uh, relax. You. Did he tell you that he was is a boy? Yeah. No, I figured it out on my own. You figured it out by yourself? That's right. I felt a poke when he was napping on me. <laughs> too much detail. Too much detail. Regardless of how you found out, be careful not to tell anyone else. You're lucky that we already know. And don't let Maria know that Sylvia is aware that he is a boy either. Huh? Maria doesn't know that Sylvia knows? No, he doesn't. Why don't you why don't you tell him? Then he won't have to worry about you finding out. I'll wait until he's ready to tell me. I don't want him to start panicking about everyone knowing his secret. Hmm, I guess it's... I... Mm, I guess I kind of understand what you're saying. Okay, I won't tell. Does Muir know that you know he's a boy? Yes, I told him a few hours ago. How did he take it? He thought I'd be mad at first for some silly reason. But then he was okay. That sounds like Maria, alright. But I'd still wait until he tells me. I don't want to add more stress to his plate. To his plate? Plate? Like food? For food? No, she means... Actually, it would be pointless to explain it to you. Okay. I'm gonna go back to my room. Don't do any more questionable things to him. Good night, sis. Stupid sister of mine. I forgot to ask, what happened to Maria? I accidentally walked in on him naked n naked in the bathroom. Is that a bad thing? Why do you, What do you mean? Of course it's a bad thing. You're not supposed to see someone else naked unless you're married to them. 
Hmm, is that true? So, yes, that's so. Why doesn't she understand basic common sense? This girl is hopeless. I don't get why marriage means you're suddenly allowed to see them without clothes. Are you sure you're not mistaken? I'm going to lose brain cells if I keep talking to you. Go to bed. I just had a nap. I'm not sleepy. Then do something. I don't care what. Leave. Okay. I guess I need to apologize to him again. I'm sure making a habit of this, aren't I? Okay. Even though I'm very interested in what's going to happen, save it as well. So, thank you for watching my life as a maiden. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. Share with family, friends. Not with your enemies. Not with your enemies now, after the whole thing from a couple of episodes ago. But thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. It's been your main man, Aaron Paradise. Bye.